I'm Kain on the Tech Pro and today we are going to be talking about spectral clustering. Now I want you to read uh, this part that says you actually don't need to focus on this type of clustering unless you really want to take on more advanced studies in machine learning or data science. So uh, spectral clustering is part of my questions, question 15. So that is why I actually uh, will explain it to you. Otherwise, I would have skipped it. So spectral cl clustering is actually more complex than hierarchical clustering and k means clustering. So basically, you already know of k means you also know of hierarchical. So my objective, and now we are talking about spectral. I'm simply going to give you the steps of performing spectral clustering, then you may decide to then read it up on your own. So let me just call it spectral clustering steps. So let's assume you have a data set. So I'm going to make it really easy. You have a data set X and Y. You have X1, Y1, X2, Y, Y2, X3, Y3, all the way to Xn, Yn. <clears throat> so the next thing you want to do is to plot this data set on a plot. So, of course, this is plotted. So normally in uh, k-means, you actually choose cluster and start clustering. In hierarchical clustering, you choose every data set that is cluster and start merging it gradually. But in hierarchical, in spectral clustering, it's a little different. So step one, step one. Uh, Obtain the the the, the, the similarity matrix. Uh, obtain the similarity matrix. So the similarity matrix is a, a matrix that you obtain when you perform the a special operation on this data set, you obtain a similarity matrix. Now, that is not inside the scope of this particular uh, uh, lesson I'm making. So now step two, obtain or compute, obtain the, let's say, obtain the similarity matrix, uh, obtain the eigen uh, values, Of, let's call this uh, uh, AX. AS, uh, this is similarity matrix AX of AS. This is similarity matrix, this is eigenvalues of the AS, and A is the original data set. The original data sets. All right, now step three. It now performs dimensional, dimensionality reduction. Perform. Now, performing dimensionality reduction, it can actually use a PCA. Dimensionality reduction. Maybe by finding the principal component. In that way, you actually reduce the data set to a, a, uh, a, a fewer data sites with fewer components. So the final step before perform clustering. So remember that when you perform dimensionality reduction, you obtain uh, variables that are actually uh, having uh, uh, contributing much to the variance of these data sets. So more, more, something like this, you can have these five data sets, uh, five items 
I have x, y, but in this case, I cannot actually use this to illustrate dimensionality reduction. You can watch my previous, uh, other video, I have explained dimensionality reduction. So basically, that reduces it to a fewer component, and then you can perform clustering. So these are the steps in spectral clustering. I, know I will not advise you focus on this for now, because it's not really uh, required for you to really know it so much. Uh, but if you know about k-means clustering and hierarchical clustering, I think that will be enough for you. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to also thank you for viewing and also remember to subscribe to my channel uh, so that you kind of motivate me and also get updates when a new lesson is made. And in the next question, question 15, we'll be discussing uh, which clustering algorithm is better. Is it the k-means? Is it the hierarchical? Is it the spectral? And then we see reasons for our, our decision.